Storm sent all back Cottle. What is happening? They've got a bit of catch and kill with Storm and Bat. A bit of team fight with Centaur and Cotton to have a few struggles. And then looking down to bottom, Storm 6 and 4. Tavo 4 0. As we have the 1v1 in lane, then Tiger and King Ao having a, a bit of a battle further back as they try and manipulate the creep wave. And of course, it wouldn't. Uh, the, the hit. I was watching it, but I should have said something. <laughs> I was watching it the Can whole... I blame that on you? I don't, yeah, you I can don't blame think it on I can. You can, because I was watching the first one, but I didn't say anything. The whole duration I was just looking at. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, dear me. That's your co-caster, dude. <laughs> just chilling, watching. Just chilling. It's all good. It's fine. Yeah, it's good move by Alliance. They finally get the upper hand, and maybe now Misery in trouble. Quick wall stomp as Boxy swings in from the tree cover, and they find another kill top. Yep. Misery wasn't there, but... So far, so good for Mickey, but Pango isn't gonna be uh, <laughs> troubled on mid, so that's kind of good. Another Stomp Illuminate, HFN loses a severe amount of HP, down to about 20%. A couple of Tangos to work with up there, but it is difficult times in this top lane. Misery doesn't seem to have that much of an impact, and with another Illuminate, HFN's gonna have to bring some salves out to this top lane. Are they, are they diving? They force a salve. He does have one, but Boxy, with the creep wave there, can make a move. Misery holds Insania back for now, though. Yeah, I mean... Down bottom, hello. King Owl looking for the stun, he's lighting it up. Lands it perfectly. And with the damage from Tarvo, they should have a quick, clear, easy kill on Storm Spirit. As yeah, they I instantly guess. went to start to go hard. Yeah, Misery ports back, and then he has his own teleport to work with to go back to the lane. Brings a Sal to HFN, heals him up. That's basically the... He's the portable... Fountain for this uh, HFN Slark. King Ao getting body blocked a little bit. Sticky Nape Arm up on him. Tiger has the Firefly as well if he wants to try and make a play, but 1 1 1 across King Ao means he's got the Carapace. Mm. Very little opportunity for the bat. HFN top. One more click. Oh! The Stout Shield. The oh, the horn. In we come. Mickey arrives. And now, do they go for Misery? No. I wonder why, though. Like I, I think they could have went for Misery. It, it, it would. It would mean that he's leaving mid for an extended period of time. Early level in Vortex, level 5, Storm's grabbed it up. The Tiger, even with, Yeah, so many stacks of Napalm, just a carapace and a turn. The bat rider can't follow through. Carapace isn't just as high. What's happening on top lane? Is Centaur falling? It looks like Boxy might fall. Is juking for now HFN. Oh, at the same time Tiger falls bottom, but it looks like Centaur is finally gonna die. There, there. it is. First permanent Agi stack for Slark. Inspector was unkillable. Tavo sticking around bottom has hit level six. Has that duel. As a radiant scan catches a whiff of King Ao picking up the bottom rune. We'll try and swing down towards bottom, but there's the duel. 1v1, Legion against Bat. Easy peasy, says Tarvo. Thank you very much for the damage. Radiance top tower is under attack. Was that intentional? It looked intentional. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, that's very nice. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack.
is under attack. Whoa, what I miss? You had your warning. Dire structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Here I am. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. <laughs> this player during the game, though, sadly. Chaos still unable to take that top tier two, but a good catch. On to Insania as he tries to de-ward. He succeeds at de-warding, fair enough, and they jump in with a lasso now. Tarvo dragged back into the tier 2 middle. A Storm, zipping over with a quick vortex, does grab with a spectral haunt. They find the takedown, but King out. Sentry, does he get hit by the dust? He does. So they see him all the way through, but Spectre, the damage from that Pango, has some substantial HP loss. They get two kills though. Good couple of kills for Alliance, absolutely. With a buyback from Insania, but that buyback isn't really a big thing. So. Illusion! Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. I'm over here! Our scanning. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. You are destroyed. Radiant's top strike is under attack. Instructions oh. are for Radiance top barracks has fallen. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Radiance middle has 
has fallen. After. They have that haunt. They don't even have the haunt to work with. They're still standing. Like I really find this. I don't know. It's it's very sad, but it, kind of poetic. They're they're fighting until the bitter end. Until the very, very bitter end. Here comes the Stampede. Alliance giving it one more crack. Tarvo drops low, but the Illuminate won't finish him off. Maybe Koifer can, but he all stepped her up by the time King Al has an impale perfectly placed onto two of Alliance and GG is called. 9 to 35. 33k lead in 26 minutes is, is, is monumental, I think, is the right verbiage for that. But Chaos take game one in the best of two, continue their winning ways, and Alliance having a... In the description, I'm not fishing like, for comments, no, but I'm so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Razor! Right, like chaos, I'm dying in Shadow Shaman up the top. Tiger, the squishy, squishy Dark Willow. Not really much she can do up here, I don't think. And Misery's gonna push her out of lane immediately. And they can't. We'll just have to try and stay in that lane. As Tarvo can 1v2 sit by his tier one quite nicely for now. And mid, we do have that Ember against Pango. We versus Boxy. The top lane, we're going to keep our eyes peeled for first Blood Blizzard. Because they're oh. tossing trees and killing Misery. A quick decay will keep him up and running. As a Sol, but one more hit. hit. There it is. He, he greeted with the Sol. If he used that Sol, Taiga needs two hits. And he most likely jokes. Lag. All right. Just going to make sure everyone knows SD has a haste. So they pause and make the call. I've missed a kill up top, of course. <laughs> Lag. I, I, I lagged, yeah, for sure, guys. Lag. It's big lag. Brain, brain lag in the caster. What was that? Avalanche. Brambles. Bramble. Yeah. He was a bit. Done. Never go full agi. Boxy. And here comes Insania. Quick little swashbuckle onto Ember Spirit and an easy pick. Even what? though he they, knew it was coming. They have to win these lanes, and so far they're doing all right. And link onto Misery down bottom. Quick for almost a hundred stolen damage, gonna whip away at Tarvo. I believe they found optimal lanes too. They might even take HFN with them. 90 HP remaining, nice. Adaptive strike, strength stun, but that toss of the tree, Mickey. Yeah. Makes it look very nice. Up down to bot, it looks like. Shadow Shaman definitely does not want to be rotating a lot. Just to be getting those levels on the lane as soon as possible to hit that six. Insane, yeah. Toying with Misery as Boxy arriving. Wanted that regen rune to fill his bottle. A kill on Misery here would be nice, but he's got... Soul Rip, Tombstone, and a Decay. Three stacks of poison though, level two as well. Misery. He may he's die. gonna die, he's for sure gonna die here. One more and Pop goes the weasel. I mean, he had... to punch through that, press the attack. Tiger and Mickey, they get close, but... He's still pressured up hard, and Tiny is... definitely leading with the CS on that lane. So, the problem when you lose the lane, oh. Interesting, they go with the Static Link Disruption. But again, there's three heroes from Chaos. The Poisons, they start to stack. And Misery and King Ao keep HFN's Morphling safe and sound for now. Top lane, Tarvo does drop. Oh. Oh, where's the Ember Spirit? Back home. It's level six. I'm guessing he can jump back into the lane with a couple of remnants. The problem with uh, switching up lanes after losing them so hard, after not really switching them from the get-go is the fact that even the lane that was going well for you is gonna lane versus their lane that went well for them so you're not gonna win one lane for sure and the, the other lane is gonna be even at best <laughs> oh oh we that was his last remnant no throws it across to the right hand side quick slide of fist but here comes the curved crown doesn't land the chains on anyone and boxy's double damage rune makes short work of the ember spirit and will be able to escape it looks like ah king out trying to cut him off at the pass do they have a hex? They do. Shackles are there with an ether shock too. Misery slamming with a decay. Get him. And Boxy falls. First kill for Chaos. Finally, can't really stay in lane on that low HP. It's very hard for him to approach the disruption into Link. As he has to go back. This is pretty good. AG and then just so rip. Drop. Him. Huh. Dropping all of his items as well for that full efficiency. Top lane though. Tavo yet again. This time with the help of Boxy. Roaming around on this pango. Oh, Javelin is there. Remember spirits. He doesn't need the whole lot either. He's already got what he needs. He's gonna get the medallion as well, but we're probably gonna see him rotate around with that level six 
Maybe even right now on the bottom lane. Yeah, there we go. Could put up drain a lot of that damage, but you rightly call it. Weeha has made the maneuver down towards bottom. Scythe. Oh, sorry, Scythe. A hex onto the poor little Razor. He gets the crack onto King Al and looks for the Undying in the back. He does have a lot of stolen damage, but with HFN being popped by Tiger, Chaos lose a lot more than really they expected. Well, they definitely. Misery's gonna die. The bedlam from Tiger. Tiger just on point with his rotations. That Morphling did not expect to die from one single. He hits quite hard out of it. I think just did not expect it. Had a bit too much agi there. Razor. He wants top lane now. Nice toss back. Get Tarver onto the tower for a quick static link. No points in plasma field, so no slow here, but I think. That's so much damage. Bit of damage. Yeah, a couple of hit. Oh, Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> Tries to pop I, him out. Nice try, Mickey. Again, with a quad lane actually coming to fruition with bounty runes. Refilling Wee's bottle, but in towards mid. We'll take a quick look here. Amber Maze after the disruption, nicely timed. And HF Ben trying to dodge out from the cursed crown, but it will still land with a nice little stun. Boxy moves forward, but Tarvo's here, bodyguarding HFN's morph. And Misery has shoved Tiger back to the other side. So with the fight continuing, the duel is there, and Wee claiming a kill. Allows Tarvo to get that bonus. Ever since Vessel is introduced, yeah, you Radiant can maybe rage it off, but. Through. Well, here comes Chaos with their push, but a bleak avalanche toss from Mickey starts it off. Wee drops low, but they've got a kill with a duel. Insania down, and King Ao dropping to Tiger as Boxy's arrival with a nice rolling thunder catches Wee on the way out. Now Misery, still with his tombstone going, they've got zombies stacking up, and Alliance need this terrorize. Does catch on to the Legion as she tries to sprint away, but it's the final click from Tiger. On that Shadow Realm, and Misery, Misery into the tower, secures it, gets the money for his team. And maybe, never mind, he can't escape. That avalanche will stop him in his tracks. And else with that blink duel, he just disrupts them. So, good point. It's, it's a good counter to LC. And this way, maybe you can stand and fight against someone like a tiny. They do get a hex. As Boxy rolls forward. Trying to catch King Ao and Tavo, they're duking left and right, trying to aim for Mickey, the big kill on Tiny is what they need, but in comes Razor and Insania, Chaos, they're in trouble here, Misery's gonna pop as King Ao's already dropped, and with five heroes middle, western half of the map. Boxy can do this because Legion does not have a blink, but there's Shadow Demon porting in, they're gonna try to duel him, but I think Shadow Demon has the disruption ready. In comes Insania, saves him up, and now the Demonic Purge, Tavo. Gonna get caught here as Boxy turns the fight. Mika jumping into the south, terrorized down to the left. It will tag onto Wii as Tiger gets basically a solo. Oh, we'll have to just wait and see, I guess. Yeah. Blink duration, eight seconds. Hello, what's this? Big nuke damage. Down go two. It's a slaughter fest as Alliance absolutely destroy Chaos with a jump in from Mickey and Tiger with the sustained control. King Ao shackles up Boxy under the tier three, but it doesn't bloody matter. All right. All right, the room stage. A <laughs> little bit late in their last game. Well, claim a tier three here with no glyph on the Radiant. This may even just be a full lane of barracks. Melee will focus down now and move towards it. Two seconds until I have the storm is ready with his agonims on Koikva, and away we go. You just put Koikva in front like this, you have Insania to help him if anyone goes on him, and he just solos the Raxes, that's the plan. Does he BKB now? Ooh, he's being very patient with it. In comes Mickey, blow up the Undying! And Misery's gone with no buyback. self fuels. Yes, HFN set up by Koikva's Razor. It is the Morphling in Razor mode about to be blown up by Boxy. Finally a Hex, but he's jumped over the cliffs. And he's down to safety with the rest of his squad. And yet again, Chaos down two members. Alliance knocking on the door of your high ground with the gr Greaves completed. But Koik for low on HP needs a bit of a heal before he can really commit. They have Vessel if they wanted to, but they're gonna just go back. And overall, perfect positioning for Boxy to just solo the Morphling there. Or the Morphling turned into Razor. That's the perfect position for him to bounce. Morphling had no chance. I hate that I can't click Dark Willow when she's in Shadow Realm, by the way. That is my least favorite thing. We trying to make a go of things. Remnanting forward to catch out Tiger. Doesn't quite land with the remnants there. And Mickey has found him with the Avatos. Give him the tip and give him the slap as we drops with no buyback. 
No, buyback warp rank is up, but you don't have the damage without your Ember. They're gonna most likely opt to go for uh, high ground again. To go for that Rax that they damaged already. There's a hit okay. tiny. On to two again with the Avalanche, tossing it to Ben back. Is he gonna get caught? No, he's not. Bramble Maze will not root up the more. And the pressing attack takes off that cursed crown. Tombstone. Drop down, try and zone a lights out, but that's never gonna work. Very Finally good. a duel in on to the Razor. Avalanche by the time with a toss away. They've saved Koifer. He's running away with this game. He's turned around and whips down another couple of heroes. And Chaos. They don't have any buybacks still. The Morphling feared. Caught in the brambles and destroyed by Boxy. As the Lions look for their second win of the group stage, and it looks like they might be playing it with a GG from Tarvo. That's it. The capital G's from Insania. A moment to be proud of as they take a game off Chaos. They definitely needed the win. I think it's good for morale. Yeah, you do lose, you are out.